Good evening, welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy back with another video. Tonight we're going to be getting into the level 26 to 29 range guide. How to increase your stats. How to be the best player in your range. And now this is going to go into several different criteria. So, here we go. There's going to be your lower spenders slash non-spenders. You're going to have the middle tier where they're going to be right on right around average i'm going to try to keep it so that lower tier spenders can even get to average and be the benchmark anything above that you're going to be above and beyond and then we're going to talk about the spenders if you're in the 26 to 29 range you're definitely not staying in that range if you're a spender so we i want to go ahead and prepare you on how to get better so let's say you're in the 26 to 29 range. What I'm going to recommend, a lot of people ever see this, do not forget your guards right off the bat. I said it. I'm going to show you what my guards looked like when I was level 30. Right over to Lady Silver. Immediately. Go ahead and get your guards up the levels. It's extremely cheap now. They're even trying to push for the level, the purple guards, and that's okay. However, if you're doing anything with guards, even if you're a low spender, you need to get the green guards and star them out. I don't care if you have Dominique at level 1 or level 20 and 1 star. Lady Silver is hundreds of times better than Dominique 1 star, 2 star. Now, if you're going to get Dominique or Duke of Buckingham, at three stars, go ahead and make the switch. However, until you're at that point, do Lady Silver at three stars. Now, the same goes along with the other guards. I don't want to spend too much time into this. However, I will because it's extremely important. If you're looking at, you know, your guards, you want to make the best decision. And it's all about well, improving your stats. So you have the green guards. Here at captain, two stars already at green, not good. So now we're looking at getting three stars, and now we're only going to have two stars effectiveness. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next guy. Okay, he's at two stars with only one star of effectiveness. So in order for the blue guy, in order to be equal to the green, you have to get him at three stars, which is a lot more expensive. Now, don't just stop there, go to the four stars. So what I'm saying is, keep going. Keep your greens until you know you can afford the blue guys, blue guards at higher levels in order to get the equivalent effect out of them. Do the math. See what you're risking by dropping that three star green for an equal level blue. Because every guard is different, it's really a lot to get into, but I want to circle back to this once we get back to the spender conversation. But as of right now, if you're going to be benchmark, even if you're going to be a medium tier spender, start off with green guards first. Get them to the three stars. Start working on this early, and you can grind them out for free. Now, getting over into the thick of things, to say, the biggest place to get your stats is going to be the forge. Same story as with the level 22 to 25 range. However, it's going to be a little different. Now the benchmark is going to be duelist. But with the, you know, extremely low cost of getting Demon Hunter, that's where you go next. So, if you're free to play, if you're low, play, low paying, and, you know, you want to go ahead and get the duelist gear. If you're going to be a medium spender, go ahead and start forging the Demon Hunter to replace your Duelist gear. So you want to start working at it when you're at the medium tier spender. It's going to cost about $1,200 in all to craft your Demon Hunter. Now, it's probably even cheaper now. I don't even know, honestly. It's a lot better nowadays getting the Demon Hunter. But even that... That's making duelists a lot more 
affordable. So moving forward with this, if we're talking about spenders, well, now we're talking about enhancing our Demon Hunter. Now you can even get Demon Hunter for free. You can even start enhancing it for free if you're a medium to low tier spender, most likely medium, um, medium to lowish. You're not spending a whole lot, but you're not spending, you know, a large ton. And you can start slowly working towards it, but I've never been a fan of slowly working towards things. Hence, look at my castle. So, a huge thing is going to be about what do you want? Do you want an immediate set? Or do you want to start working on things slowly? Don't waste your time and just start working it up. But when I say, you know, taking your time, don't leave yourself bad in the meantime. Don't have a little gray piece of gear with 7.2% infantry damage received when you're working on a orange piece. Go ahead and get something good in place of that in the meantime to hold yourself off because that's a weak spot. That's something that your opponents can expose. So to summarize, the benchmark is going to be Duelist. If you're going to start putting some money into it, go ahead and start working towards Demon Hunter. And now if you're going to be spending, go ahead and start working on maxing out the resonance level and enhancement level of your Demon Hunter. And then once, you know, you work up towards it large enough, you know, you can start, if you're at a lower level, enhancing your Demon Hunter as well. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So, taking a look at gemstones, I'm going to make this really simple. If you're in the 26 to 29 range, you need to all hope at level 5 or level 6. Most likely level 6. I actually highly recommend you have it at level 6. Now the problem is going to be, okay, am I going to get any justice? That comes into what can you afford. I'm not going to answer that question for you because that's up to you to decide. Can you afford it? If you can, do it. That's pretty much it. But moving back towards getting our gear the best way we possibly can, let's go ahead and take a look at the Spirit Mind store, so you can plan ahead. I would highly recommend that, you know, you could if you're a low spender, you could go ahead and get the scrolls for your Demon Hunter here. However, start young, start early, grind those craftsman tools. It will help you out a lot. Also, get the steel. Steel is going to help a lot. You can also buy steel, and right now it's insane just how much steel you're getting per dollar and it goes a long way and you're also getting a lot of steel in the lucky shot when you're going ahead and going through the enhancements for this so this is going to cover the gear the gems as well as the guards for level 26 to 29 next video we will be covering the airship Lord, and pretty much anything else that we can mention, probably going to get into troop formations for a level 26 to 29. So I want to say thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And as always, if you guys ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I love helping you all, and thank you all for watching.